Welcome back to Sterling Stocks. Today we're talking about MMAT. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like this video, and if you want to, subscribe to the channel. So, today was a good day, and yesterday was an even better day. Missed you guys yesterday, uh, but we did get that interview in with Chunk. It's a long one, but a very good listen, in my opinion, so be sure to go check it out, of course. So, today, basically, I'd love to see uh, 7%. More volume than the 7 million volume, but not quite enough volume to really get a big-time surge on. Uh, uh, those days will come. We'll be looking at some pieces that were better reviews uh, overseas and in other countries, uh, not similar to <laughs> your seeking alphas and so on and so forth. So good to see some positive outlooks and whatnot. But if we, uh, the biggest thing for me to mention is just keep in mind that uh, back in our torture meta days, we know that we've seen run ups from the ones to the three thirties and then push back down and so on and so forth. So uh, just keep on uh, keep in mind we know we have the Fed talking Friday and and even after that. So uh, we know market can turn pretty much on a dime right now. Meta materials is holding up nicely. I think we have a lot of long term holders in this thing. So uh, pretty much probably shook out all the people as needed to uh, throughout these weeks leading up after the merger. So basically just hanging out, possibly market makers running stocks up currently and things get pretty wonky in the week. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Always trade at your own risk, never financial advice here, but uh, just keep that in mind. We know we're here for the longs. So don't get too discouraged if we do see some type of pullback, but I hope, uh, of course, we keep on rocking. And if we keep on seeing more and more volume, we will keep rocking. So uh, if we see here George tweeting out some nice, uh, German and so on and so forth uh, tweets today so had to get the translator out and so forth uh, but as I was saying D uh, seeking alphas and bearish posts just seem to be non-knowledgeable posts, and these seem to be good. Uh, of course, I think they're good because they're more bullish outlooks, but as I've been saying, it looks like they're pretty uh, people who actually did some research and looking, so uh, love to see some positive news. We'll be taking a peek at pretty much all three of those things, so uh, stay tuned for that. One thing I want to mention is that there are zero short shares available at the moment, putting the pressures on the shorts. This is just according to Fintel data, so just keep that in mind. Probably not the entire market, probably still some short shares out, but as we see these this number go to zero as we see the utilization for ortex we know this is on a t2 delay uh go up to 100 percent we know the pressure is really really on uh in and they possibly still could be adding more naked on top of that so just keep that in mind one thing i want to point out is usually on our green days they just add on more you know trying to keep us down today it looks like they returned some in my opinion that kind of points to science if this is being accurately reported you'll know how i feel about this short data and how it's probably not accurately reported to us uh but if this is correct and they are returning more shares than they are taking out then it's highly likely that they are in a sticky situation and probably not interested in shorting this too much heavier than they already are uh, but as we know there are zero short shares available so according to other data that is given to us it looks like their ammo is all up so we would just have to see maybe covered old shorts in order to add on new new shorts but just covered uh, older shorts according to the ortex data but like I said uh, we got to take it with a huge grain of salt we don't know if it's accurately reported I think manipulation is heavily here I think there's there's still FTDs and so on and so forth. So uh, just keep that in mind. Basically, we're putting heavy, heavy pressure on them right now just because that utilization is getting very close to 100. And granted, Ortex isn't the complete market overall either. So just keep that in mind. But as we see uh, the data that is given to us rise, then we know that they are getting in worse and worse positions. If we look here, this is this uh, right here, I believe. This uh, I think this was the first tweet that George tweeted out. It's basically just a, a pretty good overview. And then it talks about how uh, the status of enabler or system supplier with its products, which means that it it enables leading global brands, OEMs, to deliver groundbreaking products in the area of consumer electronics, 5G communications, health and wellness, aerospace and automotive clean energy. We all know that uh, that's what Meta Materials is. So the, once again, very good uh, little read up here. It's actually on my Twitter chunk. Uh, went ahead and deciphered this one, and then one of these that we're going to go over as well. Uh, that will be this one talking about SoftBank. So your green link here, uh, and this is basically your basic run up of Meta Materials. The most exciting thing about this was more so at the bottom, I do believe, when he's talking about China, the Chinese government anger for regulation has now also offended, uh, offered an important re regional investor, the Japanese SoftBank Group, which invests in companies in the fields of technology, communications, energy, and so on and so forth. Groundbreaking innovations m m may make scientific fiction a reality much faster than expected meta materials is our most exciting company for us because as an enabler it should benefit from the emerging emergence of the a huge market so as you can see here uh very exciting wording and 
a pretty good outlook i didn't even really consider this but that is very true there's there's some regulations and overall uh just the chinese stock not very bullish not a lot of people wanting to get into so uh, just keep in mind those big investors in the chinese and stuff will be looking to place their money for their innovations and so on and so forth elsewhere if we look here a possible uh this is an <laughs> another positive bullish write up by nico pop here if we see here it's talking about a potential customer of meta materials could also be dutch telecom the company already works with Samsung Electronics as we know we have worked with Samsung Electronics in the past so just keep that in mind uh, with 5G and fiber optics and we know that Meta Materials has plenty of ways that they can help that so uh, always as I've kind of been saying basically it's good to see that there's more bullish outlooks and more bullish posts especially these uh, in these Germanys and so on and so forth getting Meta Materials more worldwide known uh, the, the Chinese play will also be very interesting I thought that was a very good piece talking about uh, as I was kind of saying the soft bakes and so on and so forth to kind of getting everything rocking so uh, like I said I believe the pressure is really on these shorts we still can see some FTDs and so on and so forth action as I've kind of been pointing out once we get that dividend payment I can't guarantee that of course but like I've been saying uh, don't let your emotions get the best of you if the week doesn't continue to be rocking I know everyone loves these green days but as we know stocks don't just go up if we want to take a look at some fellow friends and some fe fellow small guys i mean i think this is going to happen to us too guys i mean i can't guarantee that as i always say i don't guarantee nothing on the channel i just want to make that clear uh but i do suspect we will see moves like this at some point in meta materials if you just look at their volume overall uh big time big time volume i know that uh their story has been going a little longer necessarily uh i don't even want to say their story has been going on a little longer uh because i think our story has been going on just as long we know that know that they have quite a bit of momentum as is and uh currently a holder of your amc's and so on and so forth so i hope everything goes to the moon but definitely uh more what <laughs> much much more of a stake in meta materials and i hope it goes uh, basically further to the moon and not downgrading any other type of play I'm not going to put any type of uh, bad words out there for any ticker that's just not what I do even if other people want to downgrade meta materials but uh, if you look at as far as potential and the the things that can change as far as each ticker I believe meta materials is by far has the most potential between basically all the the memers and so on and so forth as chunk would say we're the only one worth memeing about so uh yeah like i said be sure to go check out that video like i said keep your emotions kind of out of the ball game here uh as meta longs you know you're not really worried about that day to day and as i've kind of been saying you're most likely not going to be selling off the first pop of meta materials uh looking to hold it for a pretty long term hold in my opinion that's what i plan on doing uh and as i've also previously stated going to be pushing all my dividends shares back into meta materials but uh i'm along i really believe in meta materials you guys always trade at your own risk uh i'm just up here preaching because i really like meta materials and i don't think that they get the amount of attention that they deserve so just keep that in mind uh but yeah go check out the twitters i'll try to get out some more retweets was kind of busy today but yeah go check them out uh got this translated into english as well as i retweeted a chunk one that got uh this one pretty much all in english i believe as well so uh the pressure is on baby we got these shorts right where we want them as we start seeing more and more volume we're going to start seeing more and more green days 14 million is better than your 7 million but it's nowhere near where we need to be but as i've kind of been saying our pullbacks have been more cool downs and consolidation so that's that's a big sign of holders in my opinion and the fact that we still had a pretty good day with only about 4 million less volume but still love to see the bullish movement going on uh could, could see some walkiness at the end of the week with the fed talking and so on and so forth we're not worried about it as long as, as i've been preaching uh but yeah pretty much it for today keep the pressure on them if you're able to buy if if anything doesn't cost you anything to hold so uh they want your shares for cheap don't let them get get you for cheap uh i think meta material is easily the next big thing appreciate all y'all be sure to check out that interview with chuck very very good stuff drop those likes on this video and if you want to tune in more subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications as well uh but yeah appreciate all y'all i will see y'all sometime tomorrow whoops